day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, hey, I'm glad you're back. This is part B. We were talking about hell and the everlasting fire. And, and we, we got to the point where we got into Revelation chapter 20 when you're going before the great white throne. It was said that the dead were brought before the throne and books were open. And that we, I put some books here just to demonstrate. The fact is that everybody who is spiritually dead... The good news is if you're born again, you're not spiritually dead. If you're not spiritually dead, you're not going before the great right throne. But those who are spiritually dead, books will be open and, and they'll start reading what you've been doing in the back in the booth in the corner of the dog. Mm, and you'll be judged by the works that you've done. All right. So you said they have a little selfish life and all that. That's going to be also revealed. But the bottom line is the books will be open. And you'll be judged. People who are not born again, spiritually dead, their lives will be judged. And then the book of life, man, I put the Bible up here as a good example because the word is life, right? Anyway, in the book of life, and it's going to say those names are not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire with death and hell and the ain't with devil and his angels and the antichrist and the false prophet all those people will be going to the lake of fire that's the second death but those people who are born again it ain't for them because it was written in there. Revelation chapter 20, 11 through 15 was talking about the dead that were in hell, the dead that was alive in the sea of people out of the multitude. Those are the people that go before the throne of God. Those are the people that will be judged based on their works. And I guarantee you it's not going to be a pretty thing. Now, if their names are found written in the book of life, that's a different story. And the Bible said, whosoever names, was not, whosoever names was not found written in the book of life was cast into the fire, lake of fire. I don't know about you. I don't even want to take that chance. Amen. <laughs> so the bottom line is that one of the benefits of Jesus Christ is you'll never have to have your story written, reviewed. Now, some of you are going to sit there and say that you need, your life is okay. That you, you don't mind somebody reading your book. Okay. You can call it what you want, but the Bible says all sin that comes short of the glory of God. Amen. So the bottom line is, hey, I'm glad the fact is that my book, right, and, and what, what I did is covered by the blood of Jesus. And you know what? If you're in Christ Jesus, your life is covered too. But if you're bad and bold and you want to go ahead and let your, your story be written and read, and take your chances on what God is going to do. If you believe your righteousness, which the Bible calls as filthy rags, is going to get you through, go ahead and do, do it. You're going to be a bad self. But I'm going to tell you what. For me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. For me and my house, we ain't going for the great white throne. I hope you enjoy this video and be excited about why it's so important spiritually, not cardinally, not physically, but spiritually to be in Christ Jesus. To be born and have that quickening spirit inside you. Amen. That's what I like about the gospel. And the fact is that whosoever wants to believe in God. John 3, 16. God so loved the world. That means everybody. God loved everybody. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want you to understand. That's what it's all about. Simple belief. Get that easy pass I was telling you about on the highway, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again. This is part B, and we'll see part C, all right? God bless. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs> so, you know. Huh? What? Yo, you did it. He let it go on, so he said, and another book was over. And another book was out. And then he explains what that other book that, is. That, that book. book. Oh my, and that book is important. Yeah. Come on, bro. Praise God. I'm in that heaven. book is important. <laughs> <laughs> it says, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book. In the book, not the book, not of, life, book of life. But was in, in their, their books, books, right? In their case file. Yeah. Now, here's something very important to remember. Who's being reviewed? The dead. The dead. The dead. The dead. The Brett Jackson, the books were okay. The, the, the gospel is the, 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 if 
you get reconnected, if you get born again, if you have life through Jesus Christ, you ain't going to be revealed. Yeah. You're, you're, you're before those verses. <laughs> Are you with me? Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with yeah. me? Yeah. You, you're not. It's, Chris, that's the whole gospel piece, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. My book. Yeah, which book are you in? It ain't even there! Are you in the uh -huh. books? Uh-huh. You in the book of life. That's the book. That's, that's the whole point I'm saying is the only people that is going to have a foul refuse are the people that are dead. We're going to get our own book. And see, that's why we have been in the say we ain't talking about you physically dead. Right. We're talking about you spiritually dead. But this is this is another thing. That Come on, I, man. That's I just, gospel. Just, just the spirit. What's that? Those who are outside of Christ Come are on. in books. Books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those who are in Christ Come on. are in a book. A book of life. No judgment. We Come have on. One book. Come on, bro. Somebody likes to some little story where they said the, the guy was uh, he went to heaven. And and and, and so, he he was well he didn't, he went somewhere in some kind of room right. right and then Jesus showed up and and Jesus was going to checking some of these files it was like it was, it was like car, like a you know like the library yeah and okay. you're looking for huh catalog yeah. catalog right so it was like he opened it up and and the guy was like oh Lord he opened up mine because each of those catalog folk drawers had names on them. And, and he, he did like a whole bunch of them. He saw Jesus walk down to his and start looking. That's not good. <laughs> and he ain't good. He's looking at it. There's a his. That sounds like books. Yes, <laughs> yeah. And the, the good thing about it is it was just a little problem. The man was so terrified of what Jesus was going to see in that car catalog. And, and Jesus closed the file and walked away. And the guy was like, oh Lord, what happened? So he was looking at it, he went to look. And it was all red. <laughs> it was covered by the blood of yeah. Jesus. Huh? So he was no longer in that fire. He was no longer in there. That's what God is saying. I'm just saying the gospel is you receive oh, no, Jesus Christ. Huh? I said that's good because I was going out of the direction. Yes, sir. Because if he was going to a okay. yeah. your personal file. Right. That don't sound like a book to me. Right. Well, you know, now, now, what we could do, you could take it from the reverse of this. Uh, yeah. That was not God sitting on the throne. That was the son going through the card catalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is different. Because we're talking about with God. Because my, my understanding is correct. Jesus said he doesn't judge anything. He doesn't judge. Yeah. God. 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 Judge. That's yeah. the judge. Yeah. Jesus was basically well, going through. Cleaning up, hey, I'm, yeah. I'm taking care of all these files that this mine. Walk over there and these see are it. mine. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? These are mine. My fingerprint. Come on now. Get some blood in there. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Pay the price. You know what? Go ahead. <laughs> Woo. But, you know, oftentimes you find it difficult to um, explain Woo. things. People, let's just say, you know, you, you, you don't know how much time you have to mm. explain. Yeah. This Woo. Yeah. I'll tell you what, based on. Yes, sir. Come on now. Oh God so loved the world. Yeah. Come on. That. Come on. You take that right there. Mm. I think you can you can, yeah. you can cause them to go back on their own. Come on, brother. Then you Come rest. on. Come on. That's 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 heavy. I, yeah. I have never ever looked at that <laughs> yeah. like that. Huh? Yes, never. sir. I have today though. Praise Come God. Come on, brother. Amen. Praise that's God. That's the Woo. gospel. Wow. All of us sitting there, that's what I'm saying is that and, and this is a good note for anybody, good. for the Here's ministries the out there, right? Don't put the guilt trip on these people. Yeah. Just sit there and say, look, man, you come by the blood. But what we need to do is to change. You need to be transformed. All of us do. All of us do. We All can't change people. nobody in and of ourselves. Yes, sir. No matter what. Yeah. The spirit down at the bottom of talks Revelation and, 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 and talked about it. every man would be judged according to his works. Mm -hmm. That's something that we have pulled away from. What, what well, is, this, this whole thing, let's go, let's, 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 let's jump into it first. So we, because I wanted to, that's how we dissected some things, yeah. like you said, because you can okay. see it. So we just saying the dead. Okay. But Elder the John said the dead. Those things which were written in the books. In the books. According to see, their words. See, so Elder, I'm just saying is on this particular scenario, is people who are not saved, who are dead in Christ, in their work. Don't forget, you remember there are some 
some, some works that you'll be rewarded or not rewarded. There'll be some works that will make it through the fire, meaning burnt, stumbles, <laughs> haze, because you just didn't do good. And then, Go ahead. Is that we don't emphasize the fact that there is a judgment. There is eternal judgment for our, our, our actions. Mm -hmm. And if we don't accept Christ, that is judgment is going to be that's, that, our Exactly. Work. That's, yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we don't, we don't, the, the fear that is not in man, mm -hmm. you know, we don't preach that because we don't want people to feel, you know, I don't know we don't want to feel, but it's almost like somebody stepping out in front of a bus and we're not telling them, you know, you're going to die. And the, the thing of, of, of our life is that God is going to destroy you. It ain't, it ain't men, it ain't even the devil that's going to destroy you. It's him, God himself. We'll be saved. From the wrath of God, we come upon the children of disobedience. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's not something we preach. Yeah. But if we believe the scripture, yeah. what they're saying is right. Hitler's going to be judged for the work that Hitler did. Yeah. But except he accepted the Lord so right. three times right. that he left his planet. Right. So there is the eternal consequence to our behavior. Yes, sir. But we don't teach that. Well, then, I think well, that's. I, go ahead. Okay, so to me, I still don't think the emphasis should be on that. The emphasis should be on so God so loved the world. Yes, sir. So that you don't have to go through that. <laughs> does not happen. To yes, sir. You. Not this is gonna happen to you. <laughs> yeah. Unless you accept God. Right. But God loves you so much. That's the gospel. Your body is speaking that to the gospel. This is what he's trying to prevent you yeah. from going. Exactly. To. Because this is where you're going if you don't accept his son. Yeah. What his son did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He said the carnal mind is not subject to anything, God. You can't be because it's spiritually disturbed, right? I'm talking to the carnal mind of person who really doesn't understand the love of God. Mm -hmm. And when you portray that love of God, he's going to try to kill you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that, that, that's if you love God and yeah. yourself, he's persecuted. Yeah. Who's going to persecute you? You're, you might be persecuted by the household too, but they don't receive the word. It's yes. almost like a child. Yes, sir. A child doesn't obey you because they love you. Right. They obey you because they fear you. Mm -hmm. Right. And you got to put a little bit on them. And see, you say stop doing that, they'll stop. You know why you did it, but they don't. Or the reason they stop because that pain that's coming in, the fear of the pain that's going to come, but they don't. So at some point, they begin to love you for the discipline that you gave them, but they begin to appreciate the fact that you're going to kill yourself and put them in it. So and I'm not sure if, 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 if unsafe people can really embrace the idea or even the concept of the love of God. Well, see, so, I, mean, I know we had to preach it, but. But I think I think I think I think the thing is that it held some of the people self is the chastisement. Yeah. It is. That 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 you're given and it's not from God, it's from yeah. Satan. And so you just need to explain the two. Exactly. You know, and not it's strange. still yeah. I, I still say it, it has to be done by love. It's it's, okay. it's the bottom line is the love of God. It, you know, it's, it's not the wrath of God because the wrath of God is not for man, it's for the devil. It, it, exactly. Angels, period. Right. right. And because of the devil and yes, his sir. angels, that hell has been enlarged. Come on, brother. For mankind. And God still loved the world. It's still loved the world. He's still making a way to get right. man out of that predicament that one man put man in. And that, and that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, you're still not, you know, everybody's be, this is what I get. How am I responsible for what one man did? Yeah. You know, you're really not. You're not. You're not responsible because God has given you away an offering. Yeah. And you, you know, know and, and anything about it, here's the one piece of the Some of the people, and you stand with atheists and so forth, and, and they, they have a choice to do that. There's no hell, there's no soul, there's no destruction. So that for their mind is concerned, they I, you know I want to dismiss that. I wanna I I, 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 I wanna I wanna dismiss that. But I think all of us, I think every last one of us, all of us, even the one words in our deep in our sin knew that something there's something that I'm concerned with. You know, there, there's a doctor behind me that they totally discount that. You know, uh, but it discounts the judgment for being the person that does the body. There, like you said, the atheists, a lot of people say, well, you know, when you die, you're dead. That you know, even even the, uh, the, 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 the the Jehovah's Witnesses teach that. Uh -huh. that. That the grave is him. It's not a fact that you're going to get punished after you die. Yeah. It's that when you go to the grave, you're not resurrected. That's it. That's it. The body, How can that be it? That's what they're 
it. That's what I'm saying. But I still, my mind still can't fathom that my mind will cease. You know, there, there's, there's all that. I know it. I know it. Has to go somewhere. Get that for that. You know what I'm saying? For that, I don't. I don't, I don't get that. I don't, I don't get. Okay. That I'm just going to cease right? to exist. I got that roll back. Because this body yeah. is going to give up. I'm like, well, my, my intellect, yeah. you know, the the, the, the source <laughs> that you being this, yeah. this, your presence this of you. It has to go. Yeah. Even, even <laughs> a computer even exists Come on. after the shell is destroyed. <laughs> yeah. The knowledge on yeah. it. You know All you do is activate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, it, it just. My brain can't, I can't, yes, it, it just, in, in me, there is no, there's no logic yeah. to thinking that this is it. It's just a, but the problem, I think that, it's just a, but the problem, I think the saying is that the, the denial piece is there for just that, just to deny that this, this is going to happen. Yes. And, and, and our part of what I'm saying is, I think, is let people understand, look, man, I'm, I'm not even trying to scare you. I think you know it. I think you already know it. Yeah. I think you know it. I'm going to read John 16, that chapter 3. After that, we can finish that. But the bottom line is that he who believes is condemned already. Yeah. Yeah, don't and, and I think that he don't, don't believe. believe. He, he don't believe is condemned yeah. already. <laughs> and I think we all know that. I think we all know the fear of death. Yeah. You know, that, that, that fear in and of itself it is. should explain to you that there's God. Exactly. Because even the flesh would be like, oh, you know, like you put them in the drowning water. Oh, oh what? What? You know, the, 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 even Adam and Eve, Chris, the reason they hid, because he told them that you shall surely die. The devil came and lied to him and said, you will not surely die. Mm -hmm. But... That didn't change the fact that when God showed up, they hid themselves. Mm -hmm. Because man knows yeah. and death, that death, that the Bible said that the man dies and then judgment. So we all know that. I'm just saying, you remember Adam and Eve when they said that he, God gave a commandment and you eat this tree from here, you're going to die. Yes. Right? The devil said, you surely will not die. You, you should have sit there and said, you, you a boy, boy, don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me because he told me I would. Yeah. But we didn't do that. Right. Adam and Eve decided to sit there and tempt God and eat that fruit. And I'm saying is when God showed up, they ran. They, were, they, they were, hid themselves. They and dead. I think man been hiding himself ever yeah. since. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Through denial and anything else, Chris, they've been hiding it. Knowing the fact is that they will. This is a true fact of life. Every last one of us, unless Jesus comes back, will see death. Go ahead. Then we see it by degree, even as we live. Yeah. And that's the thing that, uh, that uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that we, 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 we really you know, point it out. Yes. You know, it's like the reason my marriage fell apart was because I sinned mm. in the marriage. Mm. The reason my kid turned out to be jacked up because they saw me living that lifestyle and I ended up pressing it upon them. The reason I lost my job was because I did something with their kids. The reason I can't get this, there's always a cause and effect. Mm -hmm. So what, what what has happened is that we have mm -hmm. totally eliminated that from a scenario. We tried we, to. We tried I think, to. I think it's all called yeah. denial, but you can deny something all day. Yeah. You can deny Chris doesn't exist, but that don't change the fact that Chris exists. But you know what, I mean, what we won't do is attribute that sin, I mean, that result to the sin that we committed prior. And uh -huh. we don't make that link between uh -huh. them. Uh -huh. I knew a woman who once aborted her child. Yes, sir. She had another child that lived. Uh -huh. Until he was 19. Okay. Then the baby died. Mm -hmm. Then the young man died. Mm -hmm. The sorrow that she experienced, could, was that the result of what happened prior? Mm -hmm. You know, when he said that, uh, that he would recompense the shedding of innocent blood, mm -hmm. Do we understand what it feels like to Christ when we kill one of his seed? Mm -hmm. I mean, when we destroy a child, for us it's become like a matter of, you know, okay, we're going to kill him. You know, it's, a, it's an inconvenience. But for a woman to perceive her child as being an inconvenience and then choosing to destroy that child mm -hmm. has repercussions. Mm -hmm. And she is going to feel that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think one of the things that 
that we don't embrace is reality that sin brings death, de destruction. The weight of sin it, is death. It, it, it is, it's not comfortable. No. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, 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 a peaceful thing. Right. It's tormenting. Right. The things that happen as a result of our sin bring torment into our lives now. Yeah. It's Conscious almost like that finger that you give your kids yeah. so you don't yeah. stick your finger in the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll tag you so you don't, when you stick your finger in the cycle, you'll kill Come you. Come on, brother. So he does everything that he can to deter our behavior. Yes, sir. To turn us into another direction prior to us going to hell. Yes, sir. I think everybody get, not only has he shed his blood, but he chases us. Tell me chasing us. He allows sin to take a take his, his, his place or have his impact in our lives. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times we don't want to embrace the reality that I'm going through this because I did this. Mm -hmm. yeah. We told David and he, 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 and he used that as an example. He used it. <clears throat> the sword shall not depart from your house. Mm -hmm. And even though David didn't commit another infraction, he still suffered the repercussion of what happened. Yeah. Well, that's a consequence of life, and I'm saying that I think that's what the, the, the gospel could do. And let's say the Supreme Court is for the gospel. The fact is that all this stuff is accumulating in your book. Yes, sir. If you're not in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's the key. Now, the gospel for a believer, or somebody who comes in to have abortion or whatever, is that grace and that mercy that yeah. gives oh, yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, a, that's the good news. But I'm saying that we take the people as a denial. Right? There's no God, there's no hell, or whatever. They, I think they, they, all the people are counting, I think a lot of us writing our own book. Yes, we are. We, we got the history. Especially the big things that we no, it's, it's written. Right? And you know, you know in your heart there's accountability coming. You're just hoping there was no accountability. But, they, they, but in they, reality they, there is accountability. And that book, that, that, that scripture is clearly showing you that books will be open. Yes. And if you are not connected, he said, Mom or not, you must. I mean, that's that's another reason why he's trying to set up, brother Jazz. Mom or not, you must be born again. Because you